Young and the Restless Boys Friday update April 8th revealed that Ashley still can't be sure if Allie is to blame. She needs to find out everything to avoid anyone in the Abbott family getting into trouble. It's possible that Allie's approaching Jack with bad intentions. After all, no one can be sure if she's really good or not. However, Billy still supports Jack, becoming close to Allie's nephew. He knows that Jack has regretted not improving his relationship with Kimo well. So Billy doesn't expect the same thing to happen again with Allie. Meanwhile, Jack and Phyllis will be hit with her new troubles, revolving around Diane when she returns and wants to reconnect with Kyle. You've done so much damage to Kyle and it's unacceptable. Jack asserted Phyllis agrees with that. What you caused had made everything in the past so bad, even now it may happen again. Diane feels angry about the whole thing. She believes that Phyllis's appearance here is ruining all her plans. There's a possibility that a tense confrontation would take place between the two of them. However, in the end, it was Phyllis who changed Jack's perspective. He could eventually help Diane clarify the situation to Kyle, but wouldn't give her any means of contact. Diane's turned around in an attitude that made Phyllis feel uncomfortable. In the end, both of them didn't like the other's presence, and before leaving Jack, Jack advises Diane to stay away from Allie's life. Besides, he understands with what she should did to Kyle, it's difficult for her to forgive. And she snapped when she retorted, looks like he did the same thing to Kimo, and Jack will feel indignant, and he doesn't want anyone to mention it. The young and the restless reveal that in the near future, the relationship between Phyllis and Diane will become more tense than ever. Besides, Ashley also became more open with Allie. It seems that the misunderstanding between them has been cleared. Meanwhile, Jack will want Kyle to go to Genoa City because he knows it's time to clear everything up. It looks like Allie will soon appear in Genoa City, where she will have the opportunity to connect with other members of the Abbott family. However, Ashley is still concerned that the mysterious message will put Jack in danger. Ashley hopes everything will be resolved soon, and she's not sure if Allie is his fault or not, and there's still no information to prove it. Billy and Tracy didn't think so, and both of them looking forward to seeing their granddaughter. How will Kyle react when he learns that his mother is still alive and soon returns to Genoa City? Diane may want to rebuild her home like before, but it's not easy. She shared many stories with Allie as they walked around Kimo's house, and it seems that they both want to have a happy family of their own. However, Diane will have to struggle a lot, when now Phyllis is really the one Jack loves. Jack finds it difficult to open up to Kyle about everything, and he's not sure if this is a good thing or not. However, it's possible that he will go to Milan with Phyllis, and it will be better when things are concrete. But he hopes Kyle returns home, because the Abbott family has not been full for a long time. He was so happy that Kyle agreed to it. He was excited to tell Phyllis everything, and it would be great if Allie could come here. Even Kyle will return with Harrison for a long time, and he hasn't seen everyone in the family. However, will the news of Diane's return spoil this cheerful atmosphere?